Reminders for King of the Throne, and then Jurgen and Fiscal Prudence and Shoshone Warrior, but it's Mogul in front, racing down to the final furlong, two and a half in front of Shechem, and then Jurgen and King of the Throne is next with Fiscal Prudence and Shoshone Warrior, but it's Mogul and Ryan Moore, visibly all the wiser for his debut outing and has made every inch of the running just over two to go. In front is Mogul, a couple of lengths clear from Shechem, who's making ground in the centre of the green jacket. Reminders for King of the Throne and then Jurgen and Fiscal Prudence and Shoshone Warrior, but it's Mogul in front, racing down to the final furlong, two and a half in front of Shechem, and then Jurgen and King of the Throne is next with Fiscal Prudence and Shoshone Warrior, but it's Mogul and Ryan Moore, visibly all the wiser for his debut outing and has made every inch of the running to be Shechem, Jurgen, and then King of the Throne, Fiscal Prudence and Shoshone Warrior. Just over two to go, and it's K and Pepper still the leader from Brook on fifth with the spotted sleeves. So Wonderful is trying to get on terms on the outside, then a new dawn and a Zilla, and they've left Locker. Racing down towards the final furling and a half and the flame of Tara at a GBF stakes, and it's K and Pepper. So Wonderful has gone second. Brook on fifth has lost his place, and then a new dawn. It's K and Pepper and So Wonderful. A length and a half between them as they race into the closing stages, and it's K and Pepper who is going to hold on to a perfect record, making it three out of three. And just over two to go, and it's Kay and Pepper still the leader from Brook on fifth with the spotted sleeves. So Wonderful is trying to get on terms on the outside, then a new dawn and a Zilla, and they've left Locker. Racing down towards the final furling and a half and the flame of Tara at a GBF stakes, and it's Kay and Pepper. So Wonderful has gone second. Brook on fifth has lost his place, and then a new dawn. It's Kay and Pepper, and so Wonderful. A length and a half between them as they race into the closing stages. And it's Kay and Pepper who is going to hold on to a perfect record, making it three out of three and making all at that. Second is so wonderful, third is a new dawn, then Brook on fifth is Zilla and Locker a long way behind. Fort Mars, on the far side is Lope Fernande challenging his stable companion, and then Brunel and Air Force Jet Zarzini is next, Ventura Lightning and Gill's man, as Lope Fernande hits the front over on the far side and quickens on, two and a half to three lengths in front of Fort Mars, and then Zarzini, as they race up towards the finish, it's Lope Fernande and Ryan Moore in front from Fort Mars, Zarzini, Gill's man is running on, but all too late, Lope Fernande wins it from Gill's man, Fort on the far side is Lope Fernande challenging his stable companion and then Brunel and Air Force Jet Zarzini is next, Ventura Lightning and Gill's man as Lope Fernande hits the front over on the far side and quickens on two and a half to three lengths in front of Fort Mars and then Zarzini as they race up towards the finish it's Lope Fernande and Ryan Moore in front from Fort Mars, Zarzini, Gill's man is running on but all too late Lope Fernande wins it from Gill's man, Fort Mars, Ventura Tura Lightning and Zarzini next, a second winner for Ryan Moore, and Aidan O'Brien courtesy of Lope Fernandi in the round tower. And over on the far side, it's Dash Door and Scorching Heat continuing to battle away for the lead, being followed by Ducky Mallon, Medicine Jack, Castle Townsend is running on, then Arcaneers and St. Brellids Bay with Blair Main coming home. On the outside with Mr. Beam and Mary Salome, Ducky Mallon over on the far side makes the best of his way home. Castle Townsend, Blair Main is next. Fridge off Nansen is staying on strongly with Mr. Beam. Ducky Mallon from Blair Main as they go to the line. Ducky Mallon, Blair Main, Blair! Main, Ducky Mallon, Mr. Beam. And over on the far side, it's Dash Door and Scorching Heat continuing to battle away for the lead, being followed by Ducky Mallon, Medicine Jack, Castle Townsend is running on, then Arcaneers and St. Brellids Bay with Blair Main coming home. On the outside with Mr. Beam and Mary Salome, Ducky Mallon over on the far side makes the best of his way home. Castle Townsend, Blair Main is next. Fridge off Nansen is staying on strongly with Mr. Beam. Ducky Mallon from Blair Main as they go to the line. Ducky Mallon, Blair Main, Blair Main, Ducky Mallon, Mr. Beam, and Fridge off Nansen, followed in by Mary Salome and Castle Townsend. Has Blair Main made up for a half a length beating in last year's race? Judge. 
and Harriet's four sits the front from Tratias Goddess is looking for an outing and on the far side is Credenza racing down towards the final furlong Goddess is coming now to Harriet's force Credenza is rallying in by the rail and then Tratias simply beautiful and Fresnel and Salage it's Goddess and Ryan Moore getting to stable companion Credenza as they run to the finish Goddess will continue to improve winning ways this season the racing past the two and Harriet's four sits the front from Tratias Goddess is looking for an outing and on the far side is Credenza racing down towards the final furlong Goddess is coming now to Harriet's force Credenza is rallying in by the rail and then Tratias simply beautiful and Fresnel and Salage it's Goddess and Ryan Moore getting to stable companion Credenza as they run to the finish Goddess will continue to improve winning ways this season trebles for Ryan Moore eight and O'Brien who also has the second in Credenza Tratias Fresnel Harriet's force next They're inside the two, and it is current option bursting through between horses to go to the front from Lethal Par. Numerian is running on, and then comes Horses R and Jessar next with Yuft and Quizzical. Ice Cold and Alex is staying on current option. Here on the outside is Jessar and Andy Slattery. Up the rail is Numerian as they run to the finish. It's going to be Jessar's turn out is Cambridgeshire from current option and Numerian, Ice Cold and Alex, Turnbury Island, Salt and Stall by Turnbury Island, they're inside the two and it is current option bursting through between horses to go to the front from Lethal Par, Numerian is running on and then comes Horses R and Jessar next with Yuft and Quizzical Ice Cold and Alex is staying on current option, here on the outside is Jessar and Andy Slattery up the rail is Numerian as they run to the finish, it's going to be Jessar's Toad Irish Cambridgeshire from current option and Numerian Ice Cold and Alex, Turnbury Island, Salt and Stall But it's Jared Maddox slipping away a couple lengths in front of Wat Harlem. Annabelle Rock next with Cyrus Dallin staying on. And then have a nice day. Serena Masalo Brenze on the outside is finishing fastest of all. Inside the final 150 yards. And down the near side it is Masalo Brenze and Party Harnett. He must be pinching himself the last two days. And almost uh, gone down there was out on Friday. But it's Jared Maddox slipping away a couple lengths in front of Wat Harlem. Him. Annabelle Rock next with Cyrus Dallin staying on and then have a nice day Serena Masalo Brenze on the outside is finishing fastest of all inside the final 150 yards and down the near side it is Masalo Brenze and Party Harnett he must be pinching himself the last two days second is Cyrus Dallin then Jared Maddox Munajat Black looks and have a nice day Racing down to the final furlong in the Petty Power Amateur Riders Derby. And Shamet over on the far side is driven to the front by Derek O'Connor. The challenger is Ultra Pride and Helen Mooney. Then comes Moctamel and Richie Deegan. But it's Shamad. Shamad will fight them off from Moctamel, Ultra Pride, Nimitz. Moctamel is next with, with a start. An act of God is on the outside of Nimitz. Racing past the two stronghold from next up Broadway. Moctamel is on the outside of Ultra Pride. And Shamad is seeming through on the rail. Racing down to the final furlong in the Petty Power Amateur Riders Derby. And Shamad over on the far side is driven to the front by Derek O'Connor. The challenger is Ultra Pride and Helen Mooney. Then comes Moctamel and Richie Deegan. But it's Shamad. Shamad will fight them off from Moctamel. Ultra Pride, Nimitz, Stronghold with a start. Politicized shared the honor. Next up, Broadway Act of God and Flint. <laughs> 